Greetings Sussex Squadron, I'm your host Lawrence Bett, ready to guide you through some fascinating royal history. Let's set the stage for a momentous event that took place back in 2007, an event that brought together royalty, music, and a global audience, the Concert for Diana. This extravagant concert, hosted by none other than Princes William and Harry, was held in honor of their late mother, Princess Diana. The event was studded with performances from a diverse range of artists, each bringing their own unique flair to the stage. But the real spectacle was yet to unfold. The after party. This was where the princes, fresh off the adrenaline rush of their successful event, mingled with prominent figures from the music industry. Among them were two individuals who would later make headlines for all the wrong reasons, Sean Combs and Kanye West. Now let's paint a picture of this gathering. Imagine the energy, the excitement, the camaraderie. Princes William and Harry, the hosts of the evening, posing for photos with these music moguls. The images of this interaction are etched in history. But why is this particular event significant? Why does it matter who the princes partied with? The answer lies in the unforeseen future. A future where these associations would come back to haunt them. Most notably, Prince Harry. However, it's important to remember that at this moment they were just two young men enjoying the success of their event, unaware of the controversies that would later surround their party companions. So there we had it. The stage was set, the princes were in the limelight, and the concert for Diana was in full swing. Little did they know what the future held. But as we journey forward, we'll uncover the twists and turns that awaited them in the years to come. So the stage was set, and the princes were in the limelight. Little did they know what the future held. Fast forward to the present, and a shadow from the past emerges. Prince Harry, known for his vibrant party days, finds his name mentioned in a lawsuit filed against rapper Sean Diddy Combs. A former producer of Combs, Rodney Jones, has launched a series of sexual assault allegations against the rapper. Although Prince Harry is not accused of any wrongdoing, his name appears in the court documents due to his previous association with Combs. Jones alleges that Combs' co-defendants were rewarded for their involvement in Combs' alleged sex trafficking venture, gaining access to Combs' popularity and star-studded parties. Among the attendees, Jones mentions, were high-profile figures ranging from famous athletes to international dignitaries, including British royal Prince Harry. However, it's important to clarify that Harry is not charged with any misconduct. His name's reference in this lawsuit is a stark reminder of the scrutiny faced by members of the British royal family and the need for caution when choosing their associates. In 2007, both Prince William and Prince Harry posed for photos with Kanye West and Diddy at the concert for Diana. The images show them greeting each other warmly, with Harry even placing his arm over Diddy's shoulder. Despite this friendly interaction, questions arise as to why Harry is the one named in the lawsuit, while his brother William remains untouched by the controversy. Could this be due to Diddy's seemingly innocuous remark in 2012, expressing his eagerness to party with Prince Harry in London? While the media continues to feast on this story, it's essential to remember that Prince Harry's involvement in this case amounts to nothing more than attending a few celebrity parties in his 20s. And so, Prince Harry finds himself once again in the eye of a storm not of his making. One might ask why Prince Harry and not Prince William? Well, let's delve into that. The royal family, with its long-standing traditions and expectations, has often been the subject of fascination, adulation, and scrutiny. The British monarchs and their kin are not just symbols of national identity, they are global celebrities. And the dynamics of celebrity association can be quite complex, especially for individuals who carry the weight of a royal title. Prince Harry and Prince William, the sons of the late Princess Diana and Prince Charles, have lived their lives in the public eye. While they share a common royal lineage, their personalities have always been distinct. Prince Harry, with his charismatic persona, has often been seen as the more approachable and fun-loving of the two brothers. This has made him a magnet for the famous and the influential, a trait that has occasionally landed him in hot water. Being a royal is a delicate balancing act. On one hand, royals are expected to maintain a certain level of decorum and discretion. On the other hand, they are also expected to be relatable, to connect with people from all walks of life. 
This is where the dynamics of celebrity association come into play. The company a royal keeps can either enhance or tarnish their image. This is not to say that royals should close themselves off from the world, quite the contrary. But it does underscore the need for members of the British royal family to be cautious about whom they associate with and under what conditions. Prince Harry's association with Sean Combs, albeit a past one, serves as a reminder of the delicate balance that royals must maintain. Prince Harry, with his charismatic persona, was and remains a magnet for the famous and the influential. However, in the world of celebrity and royalty, not all that glitters is gold. And sometimes the shine of fame can cast long and tricky shadows. And what role does the media play in all this? Let's examine. The media's role in shaping public perception cannot be overstated. When it comes to the British royal family, the media's gaze is unflinching, its attention unwavering. But there's a peculiar tendency that's quite noticeable. The spotlight, more often than not, seems to be focused on Prince Harry. The British royal reporters are having a field day with this mention of Harry in the lawsuit. They're dissecting it, discussing it, and broadcasting it far and wide. Now, this wouldn't be so surprising if Harry was accused of any wrongdoing in the lawsuit, but he's not. His name was mentioned, yes, but he's not implicated in any way. He's merely named as a friend of Sean Combs, reminding us of his association with the rapper. So why the media frenzy? Why is Harry's name being tossed around in the headlines while Prince William, who also posed for photos with the rapper, remains untouched by the media storm? The answer is simple, yet complex. Harry has always been seen as the more charismatic, more approachable prince. His charm, his affability, his party-going days, they've all made him a media magnet. But this attention, while sometimes positive, often takes a negative turn, as it has in this case. This isn't about Harry's actions, it's about his association, it's about the media's penchant for sensationalism, for creating a story where there isn't one. It's about the media's uncanny ability to spin a narrative that draws in the audience, even if it means distorting the truth or blowing things out of proportion. So Prince Harry finds himself once again under the media's microscope, scrutinized for things beyond his control. His every action, every association, every word is dissected and analyzed. His name is splashed across headlines, his reputation questioned, all while his brother, Prince William, remains largely unscathed by the media's critical gaze. Just another day in the life of Prince Harry, forever under the media's microscope. So, what can we take away from all this? In our journey today, we've explored the realms of celebrity culture, media narratives, and the challenges faced by those in the public eye, specifically the royal family. It's crucial to remember that we're discussing individuals who, like us, have had their own share of youthful exploits. Prince Harry's association with Sean Combs and Kanye West, among others, during his younger years, is a testament to the allure of the celebrity culture that many of us have been part of or fascinated with at some point in our lives. However, it's equally important to note that being named in a lawsuit does not equate to guilt or involvement. In the case of Prince Harry, he's mentioned as someone who partied with Combs, a fact that dates back to the concert for Diana in 2007. It doesn't imply any wrongdoing on Harry's part or any involvement in the serious allegations against Combs. Let's not forget that the media plays a significant role in shaping narratives. It often thrives on controversy and scandal. And the mention of a royal figure like Prince Harry in a lawsuit, however tangential, is bound to garner attention. It's our responsibility as conscious consumers of information to question, to delve deeper, and to distinguish between sensationalism and truth. In the grand scheme of things, this story serves as a stark reminder of the caution required by public figures and their associations. It also underlines the need for us, the audience, to be discerning and critical in our understanding of the narratives presented to us. And with that, we conclude our journey for today. Remember, not all that glitters is gold and not all that's reported is truth. This is Lawrence Betts signing off. Stay curious, Sussex Squadron.